In this question, we're told the random variable x has the binomial distribution where n is equal to 20 and p is equal to 0.2. Okay, so we're asked to do asked to calculate without the use of tables the probability that x equals 6. Personally, I'd recommend even if it didn't say with the use of tables, that you should be practicing to use the formula for cases where it's equals anyway. But let's just write this out. Probability x is equal to 6. Well, first of all, we have to account for all the possible ways that we could, uh, all the possible combinations of ways that we could pick six successes from 20. So we have to do 20 choose 6. We then multiply this by the probability of a success, which is 0 0.2 to the power of 6, because there are 6 successes. We then have to multiply this by the probability of a failure, 0.8, to the power of the amount of failures, which is 20 take away 6, or 14, to get our answer. A couple of checks in this. The NCR, the R's, should match up here. The probabilities here should both add up to 1, and both of these powers should add up to the number of trials. Okay, so when we put this into our calculator and work our way through it, what we get is an answer of 0.109 to 3 decimal places. Okay, so how do we get marks in this question? Well, here we have method mark for this part of our question, only given if you demonstrate that part of the question, and we have an accuracy mark for our final answer rounded correctly. Okay, so let's have a look at part two of A. It says we want to calculate the probability that x lies between two and eight. That is, a, and so it can be equal to eight. So what this means is we're gonna take the probability that x is less than or equal to eight and we are going to subtract all the probabilities before 2, so that's probability of x less than or equal to 1. Okay, so let's go to the tables and read that. We're looking to find the probability of x less than or equal to 8 and the probability of x less than or equal to 1 in the case where n is equal to 20. So here's was part of the way through my tables, n equals 14, n equals 15, n equals 20. So if I scroll down just a little bit so we can see fully the n equals 20 section. And there we go. Now actually, put it right there in the middle. What we're looking, so we're focusing on this n equals 20 part of the question. We have a probability of success of 0.2. So what I'm going to do is, I mean I wouldn't usually draw on a table, but just to highlight it, here's 0.2. What I'd usually do is use a ruler or a piece of paper or something just to rule a straight line just to the right of the column that I'm interested in. That way I know that that is the column that I'm focused on. Okay, so we're looking to find the probability of x less than or equal to 8. So looking down the side you can see here's x less than or equal to 8. So again I wouldn't usually draw on my tables and wouldn't recommend you do it because you're going to end up with messy tables. But just use a ruler, piece of paper or something just so that you can rule straight across. And so here you can take the reading here, probability x less than or equal to 8 is 0 0.9900. Okay, I can then do the same for the probability of x less than or equal to 1. So I've got to where x is less than or equal to 1. Just going to rule straight across. Again, we're just going to be, should be using a piece of paper or a ruler, but I just want to highlight actually what it is the process I'm doing. And if I just Indicate then, so you can see I'm taking this reading here of 0 0.062, so at 0 0.0692. So we know the probability x less than or equal to 1 is 0 0.0692. So I can now use these values to carry on with my calculation. Okay, so having read the tables, we know that the probability that x is less than or equal to 8 is 0 0.9900. And we're going to subtract the probability that x is less than or equal to 1, which is 0.0692, which gives us a final answer of 0.921 to 3 decimal places. Okay, so let's have a look at how we get our marks on this question. Well, first of all, 
we get statement marks for each of these correct probabilities. So B1 for probability x less than or equal to 8, B1 for probability x less than or equal to 1, and then finally we get a statement mark for the final correct probability here. Okay, so you only get marks if these have been stated somewhere along the way. Okay, so let's have a look at part B. Part B says the random variable y has a binomial distribution b, uh, so n equals 200 and probability equals 0.0123. We want to use the probability Poisson distribution to determine the approximate value of uh, y being equal to 3. So what we know is that if y is distributed binomially with a sample of 200 and a probability of success being 0.0123, then y can be approximated. Let's just use the right one. So this can be approximated using the Poisson. So Poisson and with the average, so we know for the Poisson we need to know the average. The average or the expectation of a binomial is calculated by doing NP. So I'm going to have 200 times 0 0.0123. So Actually, what we're talking about here is y being Poisson distributed with a mean of 2.46. Okay, now it wants us to calculate the probability that y is equal to 3. So probability y is equal to 3. Unfortunately, if you look in the tables, you'll find that Poisson 2.4 at uh, the 2.46 mean for the Poisson isn't in there, so we're going to have to use the formula. And as it's equal to 3 anyway, it can and generally is quicker to just use the formula. So remember that the Poisson formula means that we are going to do e to the power of the mean, or minus the power of the mean, so e to the power of minus 2.46. We're then going to multiply this by the mean to the power of the number of successes we are talking about, so the power of 3. And this is all over the number of successes, which is 3 factorial. OK, so when we type that into our calculator and we work through it, what we get is an answer of 0 0.212 correct to 3 decimal places. OK, so let's just have a quick look to see how do we gain our marks on this question. Well, first of all, we get statement mark for actually stating the correct approximation. So this Poisson approximation here that is with a mean of 2.46. We then get a method mark later on here for showing that we're using the Poisson formula and the correct substitution into that Poisson formula. And then finally we finish off with an accuracy mark for our answer of 0.212. I hope that made sense and that you can understand it.